My name is Javad Parvizi. I am a professor of orthopedic surgery at Rothman Institute at Thomas Jefferson University. I've been in practice for 15 years doing LR reconstruction, which was mostly hip and knee replacement, with an interest in periprosthetic joint infection. We are in desperate need of innovation that will help us to do better for these patients. But what we also face is diagnosis of periprosthetic joint infection is very difficult. It is difficult for two reasons. One is because the joint replacement, when it gets infected, is associated with biofilm formation, where microorganisms are hiding under the umbrella of glycocalyx, difficult, difficult to access. They're not planktonic for us to pick them up. And the second is that some of these organisms internalize into osteoblasts and it's very difficult to get to them and hence the whole concept of chronic osteomyelitis. Then there is the issue of diagnosing the actual infection and isolating the pathogen. What's available for us is the old and if I may say primitive technique of culture. It is unreliable on many accounts. One is because you have to take samples from representative areas you then have to transfer them immediately to the lab. The sample has to then get processed as soon as possible. Then you have to put that sample in the right medium to isolate the organisms. And because of that, either we don't isolate the organisms at all, about 50% of PJI are culture negative across the globe. And my institution, where we pay huge amount of attention to this issue, we have about 35% culture negative infections. Still very challenging. One in three case doesn't have the infecting organism identified. The major shortfall of biomarkers is that they diagnose the problem, but they don't tell you what the infecting organism is. Next generation sequencing looks at the quantity of DNA that's in the samples. We'll run that against the phylogeny of bacteria and fungi, and then it will tell you which bacteria or fungi exist there. The second difference between PCR and next generation sequencing is in PCR you have to know what organism you're looking for so you can design your primer for that organism, whereas in next generation sequencing the DNA material that you get will be compared to the genome library and then the type of bacteria will be given to you. I heard about pathogenies about two years ago when a colleague of mine uh, approached me to talk to me about this technology that exists. He's an orthopedic surgeon in Delaware who's been sending some samples to Pathogenius. And when he shared his experience, I was very, very impressed. Majority of the people that deal with periprosthetic joint infection have been waiting for a technology like this. I think timing is great. Pathogenius gives you a very useful information of what the organism is, and by the way, it can be gram-negative, gram-positive, and some samples, they've isolated fungi. And in the near future, we'll give you the antibiotic resistance of the organism, which will certainly have a role in guiding your clinical decision-making and management of the patients.